I lived with a, a guy that lied to me about everything. She was cheating on me the whole time. He had a whole nother actual girlfriend in DC. It sucked. The show absolutely reflects real depictions of love and betrayal. The play was obviously set uh, in, a, in a different time, but it spoke to a lot about what goes on in relationships today. My last betrayal had me living out of my car in Acadia National Park, so you know. <laughs> yeah. So this, yes, betrayal is real. Love does make you do crazy things. The love is, is giving you like love goggles or love blindness or rose colored glasses because you're just refusing to basically see and accept the truth. That's what the basis of the play is, is believing things or what you want to believe. I think that was the hardest part to watch is that this person just continues to be in denial of their feelings. Everyone's been in a relationship that's like a fantasy to them, like that perfect person that like, no matter what they do, they're like, they're it. They accept my flaws, my beauty, and everything that comes along with. That's what love is to me. Love is still undefinable, but it is trust, it's friendship, it is uh, romance. I think it's just, you know, wanting to be loved the way you love the ones you love. Now, I'm like, very hesitant. I ask a lot of questions and I'm like, always questioning and I'm always like in the back of my mind wondering like are you actually telling me the truth and then I like you know stalk on the internet to find out love is a battlefield <laughs> like in the play like their eye their their mouth says no but their eyes say yes right though he was saying like I don't want to be with you I was like oh he really actually does because I wanted to believe what I wanted to believe